Hey guys, so I want to talk a little bit about shooting through the dirt on the metal and I know that this uh, this topic is kind of categorized as a really lack based shot so I'll kind of I'll try to disagree with people and I will explain how you can become more consistent with it and uh, how what, what do you need to do to to actually get those shots I will show you clips of me like getting consistent really consistent in some rounds uh, you can see it now As you could see, I can get two headshots, uh, two headshots in one round. So I hope I got your attention. <laughs> so yeah, I will dis I will I will kind of talk about three, uh, sorry, four different styles uh, of shooting. Uh, so first one, there is a reflex shot when you aim at the left side of the door, and you will pre-fire as soon as you will see a little bit of the model in here. So combining your reaction time plus leg you will most likely get that person and if you want to know more about uh, those shots i recommend you guys to click on the link in uh, in a corner in there uh, this is Warhol's video and he talks about it more and describes more in a detail i don't want to i don't want to talk about it when it's already said and it's really decently explained so there you go just click in there uh, next one is timed shot when you stand in in the middle of the door and just let's say that you pre-fire in when the clocks will hit 1.57 let's say which is the, for most people the time where a first city will try to cross I don't like to do so because this one is actually really really lag, lag based and I'm not doing it but that's the way I just have to put it in there that's that's one of the ways then you got um, prediction shots I will show you a few clips of mine uh, doing prediction shots so as you could see in there those shots are simple this is just a normal common logic you see smoke popping you know that you have to shoot right in it because most likely someone who's trying to smoke off in there he does not really have time um, to wait and wait for your shot or whatever. He, what he will do, he will just wait for a smoke to pop or he will run and right after it pop, he will just jump through or just pass through the smoke because he got his job to do on B. He need to save it from rushes, you know? So he doesn't really have a lot of time to play around with mid upper to be sure that he tricked him. So make sure that just try to predict where and when they will be just by the experience or same in here if you if you're not seeing you know that upper crossed and you're trying to do like a peekaboo shot from here and you see no one but you still know that he's on the left side we can pre-fire this part of the door because you know pretty much off, really often people holding this angle or, or even harder angle um for getting people on on catwalk and being more safe not challenging other uppers happens it, the, the main thing is that you need to take those shots when you think that you know that someone might be in there instead of you know saying like I oh, definitely he's not there or whatever just and just quitting on those if you will can constantly try to take those shots and you will be uh, keep just guessing you will eventually get some crazy headshots through the door so that's a prediction it's really nice and I like to play this way and the last one is my favorite, it's calculated shots, so there are a few rules to it, it, it might be quite difficult at the beginning, uh, it's a lot of practice to get consistent with it, I'll just give you some tips what you need to know and what you need to do when it comes to that. So first of all, you need to have the same sensitivity all the time, you need to get your muscle memory, uh, so you're really consistent with flicking. Second thing, on the beginning, I can take it from different angles now because a lot of practice, but 
uh, normally just line up like I don't know this part of the door with the wall or whatever get the same angle the same position every single time it will help you with flicking uh, more consistently next thing you need to um, you need to uh, aim always on the level of the runners because that's the simplest shot so kind of on this level uh, so when you will see runner like uh, like let's say on this clip now you see like i've seen those runners and they are easy shots all what you have to do calculate the speed they move in with do they have pistol weapon or knife in the hand and then just uh, kind of readjust your crosshair if your uh, crosshair is not on a head level, simply flick after. It's really simple flick. Then next one is slightly more difficult as you can see on this clips. Yeah, shooting jumpers. It is, yeah, that's that's really, really difficult, advanced level of shooting through the door, and most likely people will jump. So the same as with the first example, you need to, like with runners, you need to calculate, are they in, I don't know, high part of the jump? Uh, how fast they move? That's all what you have to spot in here. And don't worry that you don't have to calculate everything. Like if they just start jumping and they go this, like they go up or they just about fall down, your head will calculate for you how far they go uh, with a jump and they can't change it. They, okay, they can stop in the midair, but who's stopping in the midair when they jump in? Like almost no one. So they will jump and pretty much they will go this way, let's say, yeah, the jump will go like this and he will land. So you can calculate where they where they will be at the certain time and if you know your flicks and the time reaction you can just simply flick in a certain place where you're sure they are at and if you're not gonna get headshot i got a lot of body shots i know that this it is really annoying for enemies but i got some days where i'm able to get every single shot like if not headshot then body shot and and then metal is smoked off like with 10, 20 smokes because they are so annoyed with it <laughs> i know i know and i'm really sorry if you played against me when i had good day but there are some days where you really really bad and you can't take shots so those are two base rules which you need to uh, stick to to get consistent with it remember of course um that there is a lot of uppers which will re-peak right like re -peak. they will peak right after your shot because um they will just use their teammates as a bait kind of it's a nice thing yeah <laughs> so uh, what i do really often when i know that it's an emmy opera and it's re he's really good i will do i will wait for first person to jump and i'll just shoot and do like this i will shoot and run away because that's what that's the most dangerous moment for you when after the shot when you are when when you are uh, reloading kind of your weapon he will peek and just get a free shot on you at you sorry so yeah those are really simple rules to stick with make sure that you escape after your shots if there oh there, of course that you can combine that with the other opera and ask him to stand from this corner so uh the guy who will who's jumping you will shoot at the guy who's jumping and he will try to get you and he will get right into the crosshairs of your teammate which uh, happened really often for me and my friend because we really often play two ops uh, so those are really base rules which you, which, which you kind of need to know about this um, shooting through the door and uh, I hope you guys understood me well and you will practice a lot so you can get consistent with it and good luck in the games guys. See you on the next one.